Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imagine and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make the bass, lead and background sound from the song There by Gorillaz. So let's get right into it and start with the bass and open a DRC on a default patch. Okay, just gonna close it and open again. So here we have it. And I'm gonna start by dropping two octaves on this oscillator and change the performance mode from poly to mono. Now, Oscillator 1 to maximum. Going to the sub oscillator, raise one octave, change to sine wave, and I'll raise the sub oscillator to 0.597. Okay, like this. And now we go to the filter and we drop the cutoff to 0.362. Okay, perfect. Now on the first envelope generator that modulates the amplitude of the sound, we raise decay to maximum, sustain to maximum, and we drop the release to 0.112. Okay, now we go to the second envelope generator. This one modulates the cutoff filter in time, and we put decay at 0.230. Here, sustain at 400. And release, it's perfect. Actually, I should leave this one at 500 and the decay. Should be okay like this. Release at 125. Okay, perfect. We have the bass, so now let's go to the background short sound. Okay, here we have it. Now I'm gonna open another DRC. Okay. And now we go to the second oscillator and we're going to turn the sync on. This will synchronize in phase both oscillator one and two. And now we on the amp, we raise the sound. Do we raise the master to maximum? Raise the master to maximum. Then on the pre-gain, 0 0.694. Oscillator 1, 0 0.5. Oscillator 2, 0 0.5. And ring modulator at 0.145. Okay, perfect. Now on the envelope generator to amount should be there. Yeah, 0 0.5 cut off at maximum. And now we raise the release, the res sorry, the resonance to 0.194. This will give us a little bit more of high uh, harmonic frequencies. We take it to 0.194. Okay. Now, envelope generator to one that modulates the amplitude, decay at 0.197. 197. Sustain at zero. Release at 0.222. Okay. Second envelope, uh, a second envelope generator that modulates the cutoff. 230 on the DK, 400 on the sustain about, and release about 100. So it's perfect like this. So this sound is done. Let's go to the final sound, which is the lead. And another DRC on a default patch. I'm gonna open it, but before I'm just gonna show you something that on this short sound that we're listening here.
just to get closer to the sound, I have here this equalizer that basically boosts high frequencies and cuts frequencies below uh, about 200 hertz. And it sounds like this. Okay. So now let's go back to the, our lead sound and start doing it. First thing I'm going to do is go to the second oscillator and drop one octave. And then I'm going to raise the, the master. It's at 0 0.8. It's perfect. But the pre-gain, let's raise it a little bit to 0 0.5. Sorry. 584. Okay, oscillator one at maximum, oscillator two at maximum, ring modulator at 5.520. Now we go to the fine tune of the second oscillator and we detune it to 0.122. Okay, it can be one to four. Perfect. And you can hear both oscillators modulating with each other in pitch. So it gives this swooshing effect. Now we go to the filter and on the envelope generator two amount modulating the cutoff. We have it at 508, like this. Cutoff frequency at maximum. Resonance, uh, let's change first the filter from a low pass four pole to a low pass two pole and raise the resonance to 0.236. This will increase higher frequencies. Perfect. Now let's go to the first envelope generator modulating the amplitude. And on the DK, let's go to 0.888. Sustain at 0.558. Release at 177. Okay. Now, envelope generator 2. Decay at maximum, sustain at maximum, release at 100. So, to finish it off, let's go to the reverb and raise the decay to 0.655. Actually, I'm going to raise the amount first to 0.397. And now the decay to 0.655. Perfect. Last thing we're going to do is cut out all the frequencies below 771 hertz and I'm boosting the frequencies above 4K by 5 dBs. And it sounds like this. Okay? So now, we will now listen to what I've um, recorded on MIDI before, and I'm gonna try and sing the backing vocals live to make this experience a little bit more interesting. So bear with me just a second while I get this ready. Okay, let's listen. This is it, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It was quite fun to make and it 
wasn't really that hard to do. If you liked the video, please give us a like, press the bell, subscribe our channel, give us some support, that means a lot to us. From our part, we will have a new video next week and we will see you then. So goodbye guys.